it comes to Hoop Fest, we're reminded every year there's no shortage of incredible players with inspiring stories. That was clear again today when our Taylor Graham came across one family from the Tri-Cities who made their mark on the world's largest three-on-three -three basketball tournament. It's the biggest basketball weekend in the world. And yes, it's made possible by a lot of coordination and a lot of hard work. But behind all of that, it's fueled by the love of the game and by families like the drivers who just want to play even if their opponents don't show up. This wasn't the way Hoop Fest Day 2 was supposed to go for the drivers. Their consolation game didn't turn out the way they planned. It turned out even better. That's because this three-on-three -three basketball tournament featured a game of four-on-four -four today. We had our, our consolation game today at 11, but the opposing team didn't show up. So we asked the court monitor if it's okay if you know our brothers and friends just play. We did a pickup game, a little four-on-four. -four. We didn't get them signed up for Hoopex, actually, so, and they wanted to play, so we just all played a pickup game and got them all involved. For years, the drivers have been bound together by their love of basketball for each other and for one player in particular their brother Luke. He has Down syndrome and he's nonverbal, but when he's here with his family, that all fades away. He's got just as good of a three-point shot as the rest of us. Sports is a big part of our family and especially Luke. It's really where he expresses himself and really fits in through sports. And when you remember if it weren't for that team who missed their game, Luke wouldn't have gotten this chance today. It makes this even better. It was a great way to finish off the weekend. We got Luke involved. He made some great buckets. He was really excited to play with us. So I, th I think it turned out for the better. In Spokane, Taylor Graham, KXLY4 News.